hello hi everyone welcome back to the channel so continuing in this tristra algorithm series today we'll be solving this problem shortest routes one which is a problem taken from CSCS problem set so this is a beginner friendly problem to practice the dastra algorithm so if you have learned the dastra algorithm recently then this is the problem to practice first so let's read the problem statement there are n cities m and m flight connections between them so we got some n cities and the f there are certain flight connections between those cities and m represents those flight connections the number of flight connections between these cities so the task is to determine the length of the shortest route from serjala to every city so this serjala is basically the source city and we want to find the single source shortest path starting from this city to every other city of the given graph that's the problem statement so in the input will be given two integers in the very first line representing the number of cities and flight connections the cities are numbered from 1 to n and city 1 is the source city after that we're given m lines describing the flight connections so each line has three integers a b and c that means a flight begins at city a ends at city b and its length is c that means it's basically a weighted graph of n nodes which has m connections where every connection has certain distance so each flight is a one-way flight that means it's a directed edge it's a directed graph For we can assume that it is possible to travel from the source city to all other cities so that means there is no cycle and we always have a valid path to move uh, from the source city to all other cities that means it's a single component graph the graph is not like we have more than one component in the graph we can always reach every city of the given graph starting from the source city so what we have to print we have to print n integers representing the shortest route lengths from the source cities to all other cities okay that's what we have to print so again standard diastra algorithm we have to run the diastra algorithm starting from the source city on this directed graph so let's see how we can do that let's take this example so let's take this example we have n is equals to 3 that means we have 3 cities and we have m is equals to 4 that means we have 4 connections between among these cities so let's let's write the let's draw the graph for this for this uh, for this connect for these connections so the very first connection is between city number 1 and city number 2 and the connection goes from city number one towards city number two okay like this then we have a connection from city number one to city number three then we have a connection from city number three to city number two Finally, we have a connection from 1. Finally, we have one more connection from city number 1 to city number 3. So, there are two connections from city 1 to city 3. Now, I want to find the shortest path starting from source city 1 to all other cities. That means this is a directed graph and there can be multiple edges as well. But there is no loop in the graph. Okay, there can be multiple edges and we want to find the shortest path. How we can do that? We have a source vertex and we have weighted graph. The oh, obvious decision here is to use the Dastra algorithm. Okay, so remember what we do in a Dastra algorithm. We take a priority queue, initial and a distance array. So we take a distance array D, initialize this distance array with a very large value that means we are assuming that we haven't visited any vertex of the given graph so 1 2 3 all of them are initialized with a very large number let's call it infinity okay then initialize the distance for the source city to be 0 
because I am starting from that city. Then uh, use a priority queue and into that priority queue push this source vertex 1. So we take a priority queue. Then in this priority queue we're going to push node number 1 along with its distance from the source vertex. So it is the source vertex itself so the distance would be 0. Then I will traverse, I will pop this node from the priority queue because this is the only node from the priority queue. Usually what we do from the priority queue we are going to pop that node which has the least distance from the source node. Now we have only node in the priority queue so we'll pop this node from the priority queue when we run the while loop of the Dastra algorithm. So we pop this node its distance is 0 and we traverse its adjacent nodes. The adjacent nodes would be 2 and it would be 3. So let's update the shortest distance for node number 2. It is infinity at this point. So it would become 0, 0 for 1 plus 6 that is going to give me 6. 6 is better than infinity. So update the distance for node number 2. So we'll update it to be 6 and push this node into the priority queue. 2 along with its distance as 6. Then do the same for node number 3. It is also the neighbor node. So we traverse this node and we can see that there are multiple edges here. So here we can see that there are multiple edges when the distance through any of these edges is better. So let's say first we traverse this edge, the, the edge which has a weight of 4. Initially the distance is infinity for node number 3. It would become 0 plus 4 that is 4. 4 is obviously better than infinity. So we push this again. So we push this again. We push node number 3 and its distance to be 4. We traverse the second edge for this node number 1, this one. Now we can see that if we go to node number 3 from the vertex 1 through this edge along this way then the path would take 0 plus 2 that is 2 units of time or 2 units of distance. The flight takes only 2 units of distance which is better than 4. So we again update this node. So we updated 3 from infinity to 4. Then we again updated it from 4 to 2. So finally we would have 2 here. And we again push this node number 3 with its newly updated distance that is 2. So we are done with node number 1. Now let's see, let's pull out one more node from the priority queue. And the node that will be pulled out from the priority queue would be the node which has the shortest distance from the source vertex. That node is this node number 3. So we'll pop this node number 3. It has a distance of 2 units. So then we'll traverse its adjacent nodes and it has the only adjacent node which node number, node number 3 has is this node number 2. So we'll traverse node number 2 and we'll try to update the distance for node number 2. It would be 2 for node number 3 plus 3 is the edge weight. 2 plus 3 is 5. So is 5 better than 6? Yes. So we'll update this 6 with 5. And we put node number 2 along with its distance to be 5. Okay. So in this fashion, I'm going to push the nodes as I update their distances from the source vertex. So I'll have my node number 2 into the priority queue along with its distance that is 5 units. Fine. So I hope you got the idea of where we are going. Now let's see. So we are done with node number 3. We have traversed all the adjacent nodes of node number 3 since it is a directed graph. Then we'll pull node number 3 again. But we can see that the distance here is worse than the distance that we already have for node number 3. So we s continue popping out the next element. We are not going to process the adjacent nodes using this distance. We'll pop node number 2 now. Pop node number 2 and then traverse the adjacent nodes of node number 2. We can see that there is no adjacent node for node number 2. There is no outgoing directed edge. So we again skip this. Then the only pair that we have is this for node number 2 with a distance of 6. Again, we don't have any adjacent node of node number 2 or we, we can see that the distance that I have here in this pair is worse than the distance that I already have in the distance array. 
So I'm not gonna process the adjacent nodes of node number two, even if that, even if they exist using this distance. So we have duplicate entries of a single node in this priority queue. So we can also use a set data structure instead of this priority queue, where whenever I push a node along with its updated distance into this into the set, I have to remove, I have to erase the previous entry of that node. Okay. So that I can do, but I am, but here I'm just allowing the duplicate entries in the priority queue because that is going to take a, that will make my algorithm worse because the time complexity will significantly increase if I am going to, if I, if I will delete these duplicate keys. So I'm not going to delete the duplicate keys, rather I will keep them there in the priority queue. So that's all. Finally, you would have my distance array prepared. For node number one, the distance is zero. For node number two, the distance is five. For node number three, the distance is two. And this represents the answer for this test case, zero, five, two. And that is the case here. We can see zero, five, two is the answer. Fine, so that's how the algorithm is gonna work for this problem. Let's implement the idea. This is just a simple Dijkstra algorithm implementation. So I'll be implementing the solution in C++ language. Okay, so let's see how we can do that. Let's write the function Dijkstra algorithm. So int Dijkstra, it takes in the number of nodes, the adjacency list, and the we know the source vertex is one and that's all it takes. So first of all, let's declare a distance array. Let's declare a distance array, which is a size of n plus one. The nodes are numbered from one to n. So that's why the distance array would be n plus one and I will initialize it with a very large number. So let's declare a very large number here. So I'm using this macro infinity and this is the very large number which will never exceed the sum of edge weights for any graph. So let's initialize it with this infinity. Then let's initialize the source vertex for this distance array to be zero. So source vertex is node number one, it would be zero. Then declare a priority queue of pairs also use so let's push this node hash include bits stdp plus plus dot h Okay, now let's create the function Destra, which takes in the number of nodes, the adjacency list. So the adjacency list would be like this, A, D, J. Then let's declare an array called distance array. Its size would be N plus one. It would be initialized with a very large number. So let's have a very large number here. Let's define a very large, let's define a macro, max, or let's call it infinity. And the number is, let's say, 10 raised to the power 18. So this is the number that we are using. Now, let's say, so we know that the source node is node number one, initialize its distance to be zero, create a priority queue,
so this is basically the min heap okay i'm implementing this priority queue pq let's call it push the source vertex 0 along with its source vertex 1 along with its distance from the source at is 0 now iterate till it's not empty okay now pop the top element from this queue that would be constant auto let's call the first element would be the distance the second would be the node pq dot top then pop it out of the queue pq dot pop then check if this distance is worse than the distance that i already have in the distance array in that case just continue to the next pair or the next node in the priority queue focus on the next node otherwise iterate over its neighbors so calculate the node to which I am going and the weight the edge weight it would be let's call it constant auto to weight the neighbor node and the edge weight then check if there is a scope of improvement if the distance for this neighbor node if we can really update if we can update the distance for this neighbor node then just update it and push it into the priority queue okay so we know push this distance and its neighbor node as well okay so in this fashion I will have my distance array prepared and at the end I am going to return the I am going to print that distance array finally let's create let's call let's prepare let's take number of nodes let's prepare the adjacency list Just call this function this diaspora for this number of nodes and and for this adjacency list. Okay, so in this fashion, I will have my array prepared. So that's all. That's all we have to do in this problem statement. Just run the usual diaspora algorithm, and uh, you will get your answer. Fine. Now the time complexity is same as the time complexity for test algorithm as well as the space complexity is also same. That's all for this video. If you like the video then hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for further updates. And I hope to see you all in my next video where we will be solving yet another problem on the test algorithm. So till then stay tuned. Bye bye.